everyone welcome to edupedia world videos we are learning powerpoint advanced tips and tricks and my name is neeru varma topic for this session is creating the venn diagram we learn in this session that how do we represent and how do we create the venn diagrams i'll show you one example this is one of the example by which we can create the venn diagrams and i'll guide you that how we can create it i'll insert a new slide here all right now for creating the venn diagram i need to insert two shapes here and you can insert the shape this one is the okay i have created this shape let me copy and i have created two shapes now i have created a overlapped region also now what i'll do i have uh, the same color I have two objects of having the same color. I'll change the color for this object. I'll right click on this object. If I want to change the color, right click and select for match shape. These are the color options here. Suppose I select this color. Dark red. and i'll set the transparency level to a particular level uh, say i have selected this to 40% now click on okay all right so this is the second object i want to change the uh, color for this object also i'll right click on this select this object right click on this i'll right click on this object and select for match shape now again i need to change the color for this object let's say i am selecting green here mm, this green and again i'll select the transparency level to 40% let's say yellow now these are the two objects we have let's change the transparency level to a bit low i'll select it as 30% hmm now that is good okay fine so we are having two uh, sets now you are representing these circles at the set this can be set as set a and this one is set b and this particular region this is the a intersection b if you want to write the formulas you can write it here i have already created a venn diagram this one this is one venn diagram we have where i have represented this particular circle as set a this one is b this particular re region is a intersection b and we have one subset here which is represented as c so depending on the diagram that you want to create you can use different shapes and after that you can create the intersection uh, regions also and uh, if you want to write here that this is the set a then we need to insert a text box here so click on the text box first of all you need to select the shape then it show you the options here under the drawing tools in the insert tab click on text box and you can give a text box here okay this is set a now i'll copy the text box from here and i'll move the i'll change it as b now i want to create a text box here so i'll move one text box here in between in this region now i want to write here a intersection b now i'll be looking for a symbol that would be the intersection symbol it means the inverted u symbol for creating that either i'll insert the equation here or i'll search for the symbols 
so click on the insert tab you have two options available here equation and the symbol click here you can click here and you can find it yourself that if you have any inverted U symbol here you can try to find out if you will get a symbol here or you can use these kind of symbols also to represent this otherwise you do have an alternative that click on the equation you can insert the equation here I have written A here and after that I'll click on the equation insert a new equation here and now you'll be getting a lot of options like what kind of equation you want to insert here I'll select this large operator and I have got a symbol here this is the U symbol so uh, this one is the one that I want to use here the intersection symbol select this and in the box the dotted box which is shown here I'll write here capital B A in section B all right so this is how you can write these symbols here this is set A you can move it you can place them on the proper place where you want to write them so we have set A we have set B and we have the region A into section B similarly if you want to show the A union B section then also you can show that and in case of you do have the different sets like we have the subset here you have some other set which is showing you the overlapping sections then accordingly you can create that so this is how you can create Venn diagrams we have two tricks here one is setting the transparency levels so that whenever two objects are overlapping each other then by giving the transparency level the the other object would be partially shown here like this is not this is the blue region this is the red region and in between we can find in the intersection region we can find that the two shades are coming here so one trick is the transparency level that after changing the color you have to set the transparency level for that object and second one is the writing the symbols in between that how do you show the intersection symbols and everything that you can do it with the help of the equation editor I'll guide you that how you can write more equation with the help of the equation editors in the next video but for this session we have learned that how we can create the Venn diagrams using these shapes by setting the transparency level and by using these symbols the intersection and the union symbols so I hope you have learned how to create the Venn diagrams that was it for this session thanks everyone thank you for watching Adjupedia World videos.